welcome back into the studio. We're so glad to have you with us. Rob did such a great job in that interview, and what I love is I had a chance to talk with Mohi here a moment ago, get that big picture overview of what's happening at Thousand Eyes. Then what do we do here on the stream? We take you directly out to the world of solutions. Rob has an opportunity to talk with Jack Riach, and we get to see it in action. We actually get to see a demo in play. That is the beauty of being in on the live experience, being in on the stream with us from Amsterdam, and I want to welcome all of you who might have just joined us here at this point. Once again, keep reaching out to us using hashtag Cisco Live EMEA or at Cisco Live EMEA. We want to hear from all of you. We are a little less than 10 minutes, yeah, from our first innovation talk of the day. And as Cedric just said, we're going to shift our conversation toward that talk, which is going to focus on full stack observability and applications. These are what let us see more solve more, serve up better app experiences. So, Cisco FSO is bringing together data from all across your entire tech stack and across your business. You can then use that data to gain insights and to, to uh, deliver optimal application experiences for everybody. We're going to give you a little sneak preview in just a moment. We're going to head over into the iTalk Theater. Uh, Nish Parker is going to grab one of our hosts, Ronak Desai, she'll be with him in a moment. He's our senior VP and GM at App Dynamics, And we're going to get a little early connection there with Ronak and really propel us there into the talk. We want to remind you to stay with us throughout the course of the day here in the broadcast because from here on out, we go in little half hour increments. We're going to hear from an innovation talk and then we're going to go backstage with those experts and give all of you tuning into the broadcast an inside story, an opportunity to hear from the speakers about how they thought the talk went, where the expert information is coming from and what matters most to all of you. Nish, I can see that you're out there in the iTalk space right now. Hello, my friend. Hello, Steve. How's it going over there in the studio? It's going great. We are having loads of fun here at this point and also the energy is really high because I feel like the nature of the content that we're delivering is just incredibly valuable. I just had a great yes. conversation here with Mokit. We went back out to the World of Solutions show floor. We're in with you now as we turn our attention to FSO. Are you getting the same type of energy from when you were back out in the keynote space? Oh, for sure, for sure. Everybody is about to be coming out of the keynote space. They're looking around the World of Solutions. We have so many different talks coming up here at the Innovation Theater this week. And I can already hear, you know, I'm eavesdropping a little bit into what people have taken away from the keynote. I've taken a bunch of notes here, Steve. Um, I know we talked mainly about our five customer priorities. So Oliver really set the scene. He you know, gave us a bit of a sneak peek around sustainability. Um, let's see what else I noted down here. Transform infrastructure um, is obviously one of our you know, five big priorities. So Jonathan gave some great insights about that. Um, I specifically noted the NVIDIA partnership. That was really exciting to see how Cisco's Ethernet, um, is, you know, Cisco's positioned as an Ethernet leader. Um, gosh, so much here, Steve secure the enterprise. Uh, G2 Patel covered some of those security collaboration updates. Um, and then of course, reimagine applications. You know, Ronak is on his way here to do his innovation talk. Super excited to sit down with him afterwards as well and get some more insights. He is our SVP and GM of App Dynamics. Um, and then not to forget obviously hybrid work. You know, we've been talking about hybrid work for a long time now, but it's really exciting to see how that is evolving and how people are, you know, reimagining what the future of work is looking like. So G2 did a great job there in making some announcements around security and collaboration. Um, really great to see the energy here. So many people talking about the keynote and I'm sure they're going to take it through to the rest of the week. Back to you, Steve. Yeah, very, very true, Nish. Um, really good coverage there, and I'm glad that you caught so many big takeaways coming out of the keynote from all of the different speakers. And again, I felt like uh, everything from tip to tail was just value-driven, value-driven, value-driven in so many different technology areas. What we're going to do right now, because we're headed into the iTalk, according to my clock here, about five minutes or so from now, so make sure you stay with us here on the broadcast for that. We're going to bring you every word of it. We're going to be talking full-stack observability, so I wanted to share a little video with you that shows some first-hand perspectives from uh, customers and clients who are benefiting from Cisco FSO. Take a look. And fairness. Automation is trying to be everything automotive from sales to service to collision to parts. We're 300 plus locations in 16 states. We want to be everything to the consumer for their automotive needs and we want to provide a seamless customer experience in the process. Full stack observability is the ability to observe the 
behavior of a transaction, all the way from the customer making a mouse click through all of the components necessary to bring that transaction to life. First Abu Dhabi Bank is the largest bank in the UAE. Consumers are very demanding. Customers expect instant access to their money and they want the systems, services and the apps that they use to be always available and always performant. Full stack observability, especially in, in the finance industry, means that we can really view all of the transactions across the network, across our application and into our infrastructure. So if you think about the end user device all the way through external networks into the bank's internal networks, the firewalls, then down into the application code and then on to the infrastructure that that code is actually hosted on. And um, that's full stack observability. You have to have visibility of all of that. We are the centralized office of technology for the state of Indiana and support around 90 partner agencies. And before full stack observability, FSO as we call it, we did not have insight into these applications. Now using AppDynamics, Thousand Eyes and Secure App, we have that view that we need to support these business critical applications in our enterprise. It gives us that outside in view that we've never had before. Operational resilience is paramount for us as a financial institution, and full stack observability plays a pivotal role in achieving this goal. Our significant commitment involves implementing robust capabilities to guarantee optimal performance. The insights provided by Cisco, which includes the integration of Thousand Eyes and AppDynamics, have not only shortened the time it takes to restore service degradations, but also accelerated the time it takes for our teams to identify the root causes. This comprehensive observability is instrumental in ensuring that we have consistently delivered superior digital experiences to our customers, employees, and overall business. Some of the biggest value that Full Stack Observability has brought to Royal Caribbean is you have to remember, we sell experiences, not cruises. It's helping us ensure that our guest experience is top notch and not impacted by any type of system failure or system bottleneck. Coles is one of the largest organisations in Australia. It has about 1,400 storefronts. It employs over 120,000 people. And it's a really complex ecosystem. We had some great investment in AppDynamics, doing some really good stuff around some of our stack. Thousand Eyes doing all its goodness and magic about BGP and the internet. What was the real outcome is we started to get them to work across the whole of the business. Together with Cisco Services team, we created dashboards to bring all that data together to give us the answer we were looking for. The time to resolution has gone from days, weeks, or even not knowing to being able to identify the issue in hours. We're becoming even more proactive. Team members don't even have to call us and tell us we've got an issue. We already know, and even better, we're already fixing it. I absolutely love that video. I got to see a preview of it yesterday, and I think it tells the story so incredibly well. Better personal experiences through digitization, utilizing technology to be able to advance the experience that people have with an organization. And so often, this is what we skip. We go right to what an organization sells, to what it is that they create, or what it is that they build, and what it comes down to is no. What does your organization deliver as an experience to your customer and to your customer's customer? And I think there is so much strength in that. We're so glad to have you with us here on the live stream, here on the broadcast. If you're just joining us right now, we are already like way into having a great time and having fantastic experiences and conversations. Remember to keep using hashtag Cisco Live EMEA and at Cisco Live EMEA. And according to my watch, we are just about to head toward our innovation talk and I'll set that up in a moment. Nish is out in that iTalk space talking customer success. Nish, can you hear me, my friend? I can, Steve. I've wandered down probably about 20, 30 meters just away from the innovation theater. And I'm now here at the customer success story space. So you heard from in the keynote space from a lot of our executives. It's really great to hear you know, how Cisco is innovating and what we're doing with our products and solutions. What's different at this theater is you hear from customers themselves. You hear lots of different use cases. You know, We're talking straight through from um, healthcare to retail to education to public sector to finance and banking 
all those real life use cases are on show here. So you'll see the next session is coming up very shortly. It's around how Sealate, so a water transformation company, or a water company, sorry, based in France, how they're using smart solutions with Cisco. So sometimes it might be co-presented with someone from Cisco, but this really is designed to give you an insight into what are the challenges that those customers are facing, maybe customers um, similar to your own organization, and then how do they actually resolve that? How are they getting creative and which solutions they're using? And then you can see coming up after that is IS Bank, so a Turkish bank. So we've really got a lot of variety in these sessions. Um, and Steve, the whole time I've walked past the world of solutions, this theater has been totally full. Like, you know, we've not, we're not just talking about the, the seating that we have there. Lots of people are standing around and I can hear those conversations. People are sharing best practices, best learnings. So if you do join one of these sessions and you have something that you want to share, make sure you use hashtag Cisco Live and at Cisco Live Amir and let us know what you learned from those customers and from your peers. Thank Steve, you back to so you. much, Nish. That's great, and it's great to get these live feeds. I'm here in the studio. I never get to leave. As you can see, I'm in prison back over here with the bars. But uh, you are our eyes and ears out there in the show space, and I'm so glad to get these live reports. And I'm glad, Nish, that you were there in the customer success area. So often, we look at the nature of what the customer does in terms of what the customer purchases, and it's really not always where we want to be. A customer success story only matters to us when we see ourselves within that story. We have to be able to look at what the customer has done, what they've been able to accomplish in partnership with us here at Cisco and say, I know. I know what I can do. I see how I can take that particular capability, that leverage point, that additional strength, that additional technical capability, I can put it into use within my own organization to elevate what it is that I do. So I love our customer success stories. If you're tuning in on the broadcast and you're looking at your own clocks and you're saying, oh, it's one minute past the hour, why haven't we started the innovation talk yet? I'm going to tell you why. The beauty of a live event like this is that conversations are happening constantly. So we always have a schedule to fit, but sometimes the people who are doing the speaking, they get caught up in these fantastic conversations. They're meeting with customers, they're meeting with their own partners, they're meeting with fellow Cisco executives and leadership, and we get into deep conversations and all of a sudden, the nature of the timing of these particular events shifts a little bit. That's no problem, that is why we are here in the TV studio. We're here to continue connecting with all of you so that the content, the value never goes away, and as soon as we can bring you that innovation talk, we're going to kick right into it. So do not go anywhere. Make sure that you stay right here on the live broadcast. Nish said it a moment ago, let me add it to it again. Social media, right? Hashtag Cisco Live EMEA, at Cisco Live EMEA, whatever social media platform you like to use, whatever you feel most comfortable with, whatever you feel gives you the most feedback, now is the time to make sure that you start posting. And it should have started back in the keynote. Hopefully you heard things in that keynote where you just got inspired or excited or you had questions. Great, that's when you go to social media and you post that question up because our social media team is standing by to talk with every single one of you. We want to keep that communication and that conversation going. We're about 30 seconds out here at this point, so the last thing I want to mention is do the same thing with the innovation talks. As we head into this innovation talk, lots of opportunities for inspiration, for connection, for communication, and value for you. If you hear of something particularly exciting, I guarantee you, other people around the world tuning in on the stream, they're going to feel exactly the same way. We're going to head over to Nish, back in the iTalk area. Hi, Nish. Hey, Steve. So I've moved again. I'm just shuffling <laughs> down the, um, the hub here, and I'm here at the Cisco Insider booth. I'm here with a friend I've just mm -hmm. made here because I got very excited to see what all these post-it notes were. So Bailey, I see from our badge. Mm -hmm. Bailey, tell me, what is Cisco Insider? So Cisco Insider, sorry about that, is our umbrella program. It's all the ways that you can interact with Cisco with the intent to influence where we're headed, the experiences, and the products that we're building. We're part of user research, so that is all the ways that you can kind of give us your feedback and influence what we're building in the future. One of those ways is right here. This is our wish wall. You can tell us something you really like about Cisco or something that you maybe wish that Cisco would change. I love that. So it's actually an opportunity to listen to what attendees, That's customers, exactly partners right. want to do. Yeah. So I want to ask you a question. I know okay. there's lots of post-it notes here. Mm -hmm. If you had a magic wand, you would like Cisco to, what are, like, tell me, what are some of the answers? Like, so what are we doing? Some of the answers, I would say the biggest one is licensing. We have a lot of issues with our smart licensing, and that's what people really want to give their feedback on and what they'd like us to change. So I'm hoping that we get some listening um, from that feedback and that we have something changed after that. 
Awesome, and I can see here, I like working with Cisco because I think I came here yesterday and I said our culture, like I love working at Cisco mm -hmm. because of the culture, the work that we do around inclusive future. How about you? I would say definitely the culture. I love my team and the people that I get to work with every day, and I think that that's something that's translating into the wall as well. Awesome. So how long have you been here? And you know, what are you hearing from customers as they're coming in here? Like, how are they interacting with Cisco Insider? What are you most excited about? Just tell us, tell us everything about Cisco Live. There's so much to see and do. Yes, absolutely. So our favorite thing about Cisco Live is talking to customers. We're here to get your feedback, to listen to what you have to say. Um, so we're here to interact with you, and that is absolutely my favorite part of what we do here. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for joining me over here. We're going to head back to the studio now. Thank you so much, Nish. Great job. I'm glad you stopped off in the area. We are ready to head into uh, uh, the iTalk space. And again, I want to remind you, the Innovation Talks will run every hour. So we're going to bounce back and forth between the Innovation Talks and what we're talking about here in the Cisco TV studio. So stay tuned with us here. We will always meet you on the back end of every iTalk to dissect it, to break it down, and then to head backstage with Nish, with Rob, with Cedric, as they go back and hear from the experts in those iTalks areas. So let's quickly set up what we're going to talk about right now as we head over into that innovation space, right? So every business is a digital business today. How do we deliver and secure exceptional digital experiences for your business? Every company is an AI business as well. Application-driven experiences, they are so central to our organizational success. So we've got Ronek Desai along with Patek Urgel and Renato Kedas who are going to show us how the digital experience has become a boardroom KPI. We're going to bring it all to you right now and we'll meet you right back here in the studio as soon as it's done. Away we go.